Hi, I'm Beth Graves, and thank you for joining us on the Circus Arts Spotlight. Each week, we'll shine the spotlight on the people, programs, and events of the Circus Arts Conservatory. In addition to professional and student youth performances, we'll explore incredible outreach programs and learn how the circus arts impact so many aspects of life. For more information on today's topic, or anything circus arts related, please go to our website, circusarts.org. Now, let's get started. Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Circus Art Spotlight. Today we're going to be speaking with Miguel Vargas and Karen Bell about the magnet programs created by the Circus Arts Conservatory in conjunction with Sarasota County Schools. Miguel is a fifth generation circus performer. He has been a flying trapeze artist since he was seven years old. Most recently, he worked as a performer in Cirque du Soleil's La Nuba and then became an artist coach with La Nuba and other Cirque du Soleil shows. He is now the CAC head coach for Sailor Circus. Karen Bell is the CAC Outreach Education Manager and a teaching artist for the Circus Arts Conservatory. She started her career as a clown with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus and is the only female clown in the history of the show to have had a solo ring gag. Now she uses her talents to teach children science, physics, and language arts in local elementary, middle, and high schools. Hi, and welcome to you both. Hello. Hi, Beth. Thank you for having us here on uh, your show. It's my pleasure. So to start off, I mentioned we're talking about the magnet programs that have been done um, with the school board. And I'm wondering, a lot of people might not know what a magnet program is. So Karen, can you give us a description, please, of what a magnet program is? Sure. A magnet program is pretty much like a, a school inside of a school. So. Um, for our case, it's uh, studying circus arts, but there are also magnet programs that would be uh, students who are very interested in, for instance, the law. And so they would have classes during the day that would specifically uh, talk about that. Um, at one school, there's, for instance, even a, um, a, a setup of a, um, a judge and you know jury and the whole setup so you could be the acting um, a, um, not accountant. I'm not talking very well today. I'm <laughs> attorney. Uh, so, so the students can have a chance to try out all these different roles and see if this is really something that's uh, of uh, interest as a career opportunity. Okay. That totally makes sense. <laughs> now, um, you have been very instrumental in putting these programs together. Can you tell us how the first program came to be and then how the second program was developed? Sure. We, um, we've had an education program for quite a few years, um, and one of the uh, partners of our education program is Dr. Denise Davis-Cotton with the uh, Florida Center for Paint at USF uh, here in uh, Sarasota, Bradenton. And the Center for Paint is the Center for Partnerships in Arts Integration and Teaching uh, Teachers. So what they do is they teach teachers how to use arts integration as a method to teach curriculum. And arts integration is kind of a cross-curricular um, plan for teaching, for instance, arts, like a visual art and social studies, for instance. So the students would be using both of those at the same time to get a deeper uh, level of learning. Um, and so for us, it of course was started as science, physics, and the circus arts. And that's where um, USF came in. Um, and then from there, it, it broadened into the, uh, us going together as partners up to Washington, D.C. for the Smithsonian Folklife Festival. And then we um, got a call from Dr. Uh, excuse me, David Jones, who is the principal at the Sarasota High School. And he was interested in bringing back a program uh, to Sarasota High School. Uh, years in the past, the Sailor Circus Academy, which is one of our programs here, was tied very specifically to Sarasota High School. And he wanted to bring back that connection. And in doing so, we created the magnet program at Sarasota High School. And then this year, uh, we've added uh, Booker Middle School because um, just connections within the school district um, Dr. LaShawn Frost is the principal, and um, we've had discussions about how her students could benefit from this kind of program as well. So um, we started that this year. 
Now, um, Booker is not a feeder school for Sarasota High School, is that correct? That's correct, it is not. But we're hoping that the students that um, are at the magnet at the magnet school here for middle school will decide to continue the magnet program and will go to Sarasota High School instead of Booker High School, which would be the feeder school. Okay. And they do that through through choice or whatever. They just say they're Correct. interested in the circus arts and then they're able to go to that school. Right. So um, so that's that's really great. And it's such a great partnership with um, USF. And we've talked about that before in the past. But it's mm -hmm. great yeah. how these um, collaborations have come together. So Yes, and, and, um, the and USF was okay. really, oh, I'm sorry. I just was going to say that USF is also very intricate in the, the Booker program as well. Oh, I didn't know that. So um, for those people who are not from this area who may be listening, Booker High School has a performing arts sort of separate section. Is that is that correct? Booker does, yes. They have what's called the VPA, which is a performing arts Academy? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> and, uh, so, so they have part of their programming, and pretty much I think it's ingrained within the school itself because when you walk through the halls of Booker Middle School and it's just there's art everywhere and there's color and, and you know, student art everywhere. Um, so that's a very important part of that uh, community. Right, and, and so they, they have dance a, and have a theater dance program. And... Yes, yes, and theater and musical theater, and the students have to audition and it's, it's highly competitive. So it's um, kind of a natural fit for the circus art to have a program there as well. It is, yes. So um, do you want to tell us about uh, each program, the high school program and the middle school program, and how they differ from each other? Miguel, I've been doing all the talking. Do you want to talk? <laughs> well, uh, I think that you've been doing great. I mean, I, I, I think that... Um, I, Karen, you've been instrumental in um, putting um, these great uh, programs in and giving all uh, students the opportunity to, um, you know, benefit from, benefit from so many great things, uh, life skills and lessons um, together with an education um, and circus arts. So I think that um, for me, it's just uh, just really an honor to kind of come in, come in here and uh, and just to kind of share my experience and um, my passion uh, for the circus arts with so many students um, in, you know, now um, starting from, you know, middle school, um, going to high school, and then also with the after, uh, after school program, which is the Sailor Academy. Um, and the idea um, is to just um, ultimately just kind of connect them all and just have a just really nice, diverse, melting pot of, uh, of just your students just trying um, everything uh, that the circus arts have to has to offer uh, and just uh, I mean I, I grew up in the circus so for me to kind of you know pay it forward and just help so many um, so many students in the future of circus uh, generations uh, um, I'm very grateful for that opportunity that sounds great. I don't care. And we're want, so glad to have Karen, you. Karen, you want to add to anything to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are um, a few differences with the Sarasota High School. The program is um, it's a two-period program. So we have the students for um, about two hours. And the high school is right next to the Saver Circus Arena. So they are able to walk over. Um, they're accompanied by a teacher to our arena and... Um, and do two hours. So usually, because you can't do two hours of physical hard training, um, we have one hour, which is physical hard training. But the other piece of that then is um, uh, uh, Cambridge curriculum, which means that the students are able to get their ACE um, awards during at graduation. So they have specific things they have to do. Um, one of them is called a cornerstone project. So throughout the whole year, our second year students will be investigating careers, opportunities in the circus, and, uh, and preparing for how you would do that. And it might not be as a performer. There are, of course, students that will be part of the program that are interested in becoming circus performers, but there are other students that might want to be a nurse or an engineer or something else. And so finding the ways that you could link the circus to these other careers and um, it's just an interesting 
thought. And uh, so that's kind of where we're going with that. We have a, a student that graduated last year who is very interested in, in um, engineering and is going on to college as an engineer. But what she's doing is she's specializing her engineering to circus equipment and, and developing circus equipment and theatrical equipment using her engineering career, uh, degree. So, um, it's so interesting. It's, yeah, it's so fun to see where kids take, you know, where their imagination can go with this and where they take it. And then the, like the middle school, of course, is, um, uh -huh. so, well, I was going to say, my first thought is, you know, maybe somebody was interested in fashion design and their whole interest is creating costumes for circus. For some reason, that was oh, yeah. the first thing that I thought of because that seems like such also a natural sort of move from one to the other. Yes, yeah. So, and we've had a lot of kids uh, going into, like, physical therapy and um, like a, more of a medical field uh, looking at um, athletes and, you know, how to prepare or, you know, deal with injuries. Yeah which is another real natural fit. Yeah. And the, um, the, the program at Booker Middle is a just one period class at this point, and um, we are working with a theater teacher over there, so it's kind of got a more of a theatrical bent to it. Uh, but using the same idea, we're going to be studying the history of the circus um, and then just all of the different pieces of, of circus, so working on balance and strengthening um, themselves and their and flexibility and um, and then getting on equipment as well. Huh. So do we have equipment that will um, be able to be taken over to Booker, Booker since it's it's not really close to the Salem Circus Academy? Yes, we do. So we will be doing um, bringing smaller pieces of equipment over there. Uh, we also have um, uh, aerial equipment that we can bring and set up in their courtyard if need be. And then hopefully, uh, depending on this doggone COVID, uh, we are hoping that by January, these students will be able to come to the arena, which was the original intent. The two days a week, uh, they would be would coming be... here to us and so that they would have a chance to work on the equipment here. Yeah. But how cool that, to set up the equipment in the middle of the school, because that will drive more people to be interested. You know, more of the students might see that and go, oh my gosh, what is that? And I really want to do it. So yeah, that absolutely. really helps yeah. the program down the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, do you have to complete the middle school program to participate in the high school program? No. We would be um, at the high school level. We, we have an audition process here as well. Uh, so they would just be, you know, show interest and um, take the audition, and then we go from there. So it's not. Uh, so you don't have to complete the middle school program to to go into the high school program. A lot of people yeah. in the high school have never been to Booker, so they can just Correct. Um, audition themselves. Yes. Yes. So, um, and those students that were not in the in the middle school program, it's kind of does the high school program sort of start from scratch? So, so so people are so students are not lost. Yes. Yeah. They would be. Um, we have different levels. We, there's actually four grade levels. So um, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year is what the, the, the road is. So as uh, a middle school student coming in would go through the first year program as a freshman. So they'd be okay. getting a little bit of crossover information, but um, it would be much more intense because the high school program is five days a week, whereas the uh, middle school right at the moment is two days a week. Oh, okay. I think you mentioned that and I missed it. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> and, um, and you said the middle school is also one hour and then the high school is two hours. Correct. And um, so is, is, uh, do you need to go through the magnet program to be a participant of the Sailor Circus Academy? Uh, no. No, you don't. That's, those are two separate things, although we do have kids that are from Sailor Circus Academy that are part of the um, the magnet program, but they are not mutually exclusive. Okay. Or inclusive, whichever way that goes. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's say that you're a student and you've um, you've gone through the program and you love it, mm -hmm. and now it's time for you to go on to college. Are there any sort of um, college circuses, circus college that you um, could go to next? Miguel, do you know uh, much about what? What else is out there after 
Nanta, uh, there's 